President Daniel H. Wells addressed the conference. He was pleased at having the privilege of meeting with so many of the people who had come from distant parts of the territory to be instructed in the ways of the Lord. He was pleased that we had a territory teeming with saints. Whether the saints of God are willing to become self-sustaining is an important point for their consideration. There is a warfare in existence betwixt the powers of good and evil, the latter striving continually to overthrow the authority and power of the holy priesthood. We may expect to have this power to contend against continually. We have the inestimable privilege of living under the best and most benign government on the face of the earth. It is a government that has come down from heaven. The Lord could not have instituted his government among the nations of the earth in their scattered condition. Hence, those willing to obey his laws have gathered together. The Almighty uses agencies for the accomplishment of his purposes. We cannot sustain to the glorious blessings of the celestial kingdom unless we obey the laws of that kingdom. Every kingdom has a law. To attain to the blessings of the celestial kingdom, to go into the presence of the Father and the Son is worth living for. We must, in order to attain those things, obey the counsels of the servants of God. There is not that amount of unity among the saints that there ought to be. We are still somewhat divided in temporal matters. If we are approximating to unity in temporal things, we are traveling towards the condition which the Lord desires. That is the order of Enoch. It is desirable that the Latter-day Saints should patronize each other, and not any store unless compelled by necessity to do so. If there is anything they cannot possibly do without, then they can go to the cooperative stores and obtain it. At our territorial fair, they have been just as good and useful articles of home manufacture exhibited as can be manufactured elsewhere. This shows we have the power to sustain ourselves if we have but the will. To be self-sustaining is one of the most important principles of political economy and is acknowledged to be such in every community. Our exports should exceed our imports. If we attain to this point, instead of the means of the Latter-day Saints being drained out of the territory, they would be increased. We can make as good fabrics here as elsewhere, but we cannot produce them as cheap as in some other places. This brings in the labor question, which, if not properly regulated, will cause others to step in from a distance and do that labor which ought to be done by the saints. The high price of labor will bring them here. It is to provide against this contingency that so much has been said upon this matter. If the powers that are in opposition to this kingdom had the majority here, they would trample us underfoot. It rests with the Latter-day Saints to say whether this shall be so or not. It depends on the unity of the people here and their producing what they need to supply their wants, and not sustain those who are opposed to the work of God, who can reasonably find fault with people for pursuing this course. It is necessary for the preservation of our existence. The Almighty is at the head of his work, and he has never told us to do anything but what would be for our benefit. If anyone thinks the Lord does not know his own business and has not placed the right man at the head of the church, let them produce a better if they can. If they cannot, let them forever hold their peace. Many of the faithful servants of God have been taken away from the earth because the inhabitants of the earth were unworthy of them. If we live consistently with the counsels of the servants of God by doing all in our power to bring about the order of Enoch, we shall be preparing to associate with them. A short time since, a gentleman who was here on a visit asked him whether a citizen residing here could sell a house and lot if he had one to dispose of to an outsider. He told him certainly he could if he wanted to, but said the speaker, if I had a house to sell, I would prefer to sell it to a friend rather than an enemy. The stranger agreed with that, saying that he had a house and lot where he lived, and he would see some men in a warm place before he would sell his house to them. May the Lord prosper and bless us all. Amen.